Welcome back to this new tutorial. Today we are going to create a wavy cube surface with the help of geometry nodes. For this one we will use Eevee and at the end we will take a look at Eevee next. Let's go. Here we are back in a new fresh blender scene in Blender 4.1 and today as always we want to use the cube so let's go right into geometry nodes, select this one and let's press new. And we need a cube, so let's search for cube. And now we can bring this one into geometry. Let's change this to two now. And yeah, we need another one. <laughs> so let's go with join geometry, duplicate this one by pressing shift D. This one goes here into the geometry. And we have to change this now to 0.1 by 0.1 by 2.1. As we can see, we have now here this little dot. The next thing is we need a set material node. So we can bring our materials later in here. We need another node, which is a transformed geometry. Uh, let's turn down the scale to 0.1. The next one will be now an instance on points. But this one goes here into the instance and we need a grid. This one goes right now into the points and let's increase the size to 8 by 8 and the vertices are 2 by 2. Yeah, to bring in more of these cubes now we need a distribute on faces and this one puts uh, our cubes randomly here in our grid. We want to have a lot more of these cubes so let's increase the density to 100. When we want to put this in motion, we have to use here a set position node and search now for a noise texture. Type the color here now into the offset and now we can see uh, each of these cubes are doing um, yeah, stuff. <laughs> it's on a different position. Uh, I like to change here the scale a little bit. So let's go with 0.8 and turn the roughness down. When we are adding a vector uh, rotation or vector rotate, uh, we can uh, use here the angle to animate this. But we only want to have this in the z direction. And for this one, a combine xyz node will help. And let's put this stuff here into the z value. When we're changing now the angle here, we can see that this one goes up and down. But we only want to have this on the same place. And this is easy. We just have to turn off the normalize. And now the stuff is on the same place. Let's do some animation. I like to go to frame zero. So let's insert a keyframe, make a right click and insert keyframe. If you don't see any keyframes here, you can select here the vector rotate. And if you don't see after that uh, any keyframe, you have to select here the uh, geometry nodes by itself. So and now we will see here the keyframe. Let's go to frame 100, change the angle to 360 and insert keyframe. Now when we are playing this, we can see that we are having here a little easing. On and to change this, uh, select all keyframes, interpolation mode and linear. And now everything starts right off. Okay, maybe let's turn this uh, off here. And now we can change here to material preview. There's a boring white texture on this one or a grayish. So let's go to the shading. We already have here a uh, material. So let's change this to material cubes. I like to go today with a pinkish color. So let's go and change this to this hex code. And let's increase the metallic to one. And don't forget to go to material preview. And everything is uh, grayish because we have to select the material in, in the geometry nodes. Let's go back to our cube here, the upper one and select the M cubes. Everything is now pinkish. And let's go back to shading and we want to create a new material, new one. This one is the neon. Let's turn this down to black. And we want to use here the emission. Let's go with this color here. 
and increase the strength or let's go back to geometry nodes and select this material as well and now we can see we're having here these uh, bluish uh, mint color dots here as we can see here the animation stops at 100 to change this we can go to end here and frame and uh, yeah type 100 now when we are playing this we have a perfect loop now it's time for the camera and some lights so let's go to layout and yeah let's go to rendered press zero on the numpad so we can see uh, through our camera i'd like to bring in here a second window so we can see what is going on and maybe let's uh, select the camera viewport display and change the passport to to one Okay, the camera is the next thing, so let's change this now to orthographic and 2.5. And let's press N here for the camera. And I like to change this now to 7.3 by minus 7 by 5. 65 by 0 by 45. And the next one is the light here. Let's go with a yellowish color and turn this a little bit down to 500 and we want to put this now here to the upper right corner uh, so let's go with minus 2.8 by 5.6 by 1.3 the rotation is not important because we are having a round light <laughs> and we can already see that we are having now these cool shadows here um, but we want to fill in here a little bit of light. So let's duplicate this. For this one, I want to use another color. Let's go here with a blue purple color. And this, this goes now to minus 3.9 by minus 0.6 by 1.3. And now we can see that the bluish, blue purplish light here builds up the, the dark, darkish holes here. The next step is now to turn on here the EV stuff. So let's go here to the render settings and let's enable ambient occlusion, the bloom and the screen space reflections. And now we can see this looks much better. Maybe let's turn this off here. And I like to go here now on the screen space reflection settings and turn off the half rest trace. And for the rendering later, I want to increase here the shadow cube size. So let's go with 40, 96 pixels. That looks already good, but I want to bring in another, another camera view. So let's duplicate this camera by pressing Shift and D. Uh, let's select this one. Now we want to go with 1.85 by 1.9 by 1.4. 65 by 0 by 124 yeah that is our another camera angle and yeah the last step will be to add here the uh, depth of field so let's enable this one I like to change the distance to 3 and the f-stop to 5 yeah and for the another camera let's select this one here Let's enable the depth of field, change this to 12 and the f-stop to 5 as well. Yeah, and that is the stuff for the actual EV here in 4.1. Let's check this out in the 4.2 beta. Um, I think there are some changes, so let's head over to EV next. Okay, here we are in the Blender 4.2 Alpha. And yeah, we want to change now to EV Next because we are using now the EV Legacy. Um, so let's go and change to EV. And right now we can see that something is going on. The first one is that uh, the depth of field changes. We have to turn down the f-stop so let's go with this one so maybe to something like this and for the next one as well yeah maybe something like this and the second one is that the material is a little bit less reflective here now 
And I think we can change this here in the rate racing and maximum roughness when we're turning back or when we're turning this up. I think uh, this is better. And the last thing is now the uh, EV glow. And for this one, we have to go into the compositing. We want to use nodes and at first we have to render our image. So let's press render uh, this one. And now we want to use a viewer node and bring the image into the image here. <laughs> Uh, let's zoom a little bit out. Let's press shift and right mouse button so we can put this here together. And let's search now for a glare node. Put this one here right in. And I like to use here the bloom. And now you have to see, I think this upper right part is a little bit too bright here. So you can uh, play here now with the threshold. And so it will be that it will be not so bright. So I think something like this is okay. Let's press M. See what's glowing and what is not glowing. You can increase here the quality. I think um, there is a little bit of difference, but you can check this out by yourself. And I think yeah, that is uh, the <laughs> EV part or the EV next part here for this one. I hope you like this tutorial and you learned something. If you want to support me, check out and subscribe to my channel or write something in uh, the comments or uh, just click the like button. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. See you there and bye.